Hey everyone, I'm Sly the Movie Guy, and today I'm going to do my movie review on Paddington 2, directed once again by Paul King. And Paddington in this movie is settled and happy in London with the Brown family and popular in the local community. Also, it's his Aunt Lucy's 100th birthday, and he wants to buy her a special gift, so he goes into an antique shop and finds a pop up book of London because Aunt Lucy never been. Are never seen at London but the book is stolen and Paddington has to go through a troubling situation to get this book back now what I was thinking about this movie I didn't know what to expect because it's a January movie but I kind of was like I can probably trust it because the first one was so good now I remember when I watched the movie I think it was 2013 2014 remind me in the comment section down below I didn't, the trailers, I was like, I don't know, they don't look good. And when I went to see the movie, that the first one, I was pleasantly surprised. So the second one, I didn't know what to expect. It was January, so usually January don't have good luck of movies. For examples, uh, but usually in January, we have Diamonds in the Rough. And I'll say Paddington 2 is the Diamond Rough. This is one of the best movies. This is the best. This is one of the. It's a good movie. This is the best movie I've seen in 2018. Best movie. And I was pleasantly surprised. I watched this in January. I was surprised by this movie in so many levels. This was so good, just like the first one. And I think we get to learn Paddington, interact with the characters more. We get to see him now in London where he is communicating with these characters when when he when his thinking he thinks different from the other people so we got to understand that his his thinking is a little bit different but still we they respect him because he's a they treat him like a human being and they know he's a bear and we have to learn more we learn more of Paddington and learn more of the characters and when we, he gets to learn interact with other characters we learn that more in the film we learn more of that and when he gets in these trouble situations excuse me when he gets in trouble in these situations he gets to interact with them more and we get to see all that and the humor in this film is very funny i enjoyed the humor paddington and the other characters show this humor where it's very light-hearted sometimes it can be cruel and funny at the same time when you see it a, a, a family crew humor so we get to see that a whole lot in this film, and I enjoy all that aspects of this film. What I enjoyed about this film is the camera work and the colors of, of the buildings and the surrounding of the of the city. It looks beautiful. This is a work craftsman's of camera work. I enjoyed how Paul King and the camera crew and them did so well in this film of camera angles and that when it gets to the action and the subtle moments it doesn't the camera doesn't catch you off guard it doesn't like be shaky camera nothing it actually works in this film and i enjoy that and the characters in this film are great the casting like brendan gleason's character when he interacts with paddington he does good in this film brendan gleason does a phenomenal job and hugh grant the is a good actor so seeing him on screen it was so delightful he does a exceptional job as the antagonist in the film and i actually enjoyed his character because the way he plays the character as the actor guy in the circus is it's kind of delightful the way he plays the character was great okay you don't know what he's gonna do he's kind of like sneaky and everything you don't know and i actually enjoyed it when he meets paddington and all that, like the protagonist and antagonist, is the life of Paddington don't know this character very well, and he don't know if he's up to no good or not. So you can't he kinda don't know until he figures out later on in the film, no spoilers. He don't realize that. Sally Hawkins and Bonneville does well in this film. I think they do a great job in this film, also. This is one of the other casting members. They do very great in this film. I actually enjoy all that and then to the storyline when we get to the middle of the film i love how when they show emotion side in this movie this movie 
does send a message. And then towards the middle of the film where Paddington thinks the family doesn't care about him, he's like, he gets really sad. And I actually could have teared up on that scene because we know the family cares about him, but he thinks that nobody doesn't care when during that situation in the middle of the film. And we just like, you know, and I think this movie hit you hard. It's not like a it's it's a family film, but it also can hit you as an adult seeing this. And it did it for me. And I I can enjoy that. I actually like when they can show that that it's not like a kid fence. It can go, it can relate to adults and kids at the same time. It can actually be relatable for kids. I think this is a well done movie that everybody needs to check out. It's really good. And I think everybody will enjoy it. As far as flaws, I think the only thing I had, I wanted to see more in the ending. I wanted to see more, and I wanted to see more. The movie was so good, I just wanted to see a little bit more of the ending, of showing more of that little happiness in the end. It was happy, but I wanted to see more of that. Overall, I enjoyed Paddington 2. It's the movie where family and friends can enjoy. It's a one of the delightful films from beginning, middle, and end. The best movie I've seen in 2018. Hopefully I'll see more. Just see more movies. This one was just so lighthearted and fun. And I'm going to give Paddington 2 a solid A. Pins and thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. Or if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.